Ricky. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for the Don Murasame Black Gold Edition Don Oni Taijin. Man, that's a lot of titles. So, this is kind of, in a way, your classic black gold repaint of the main Megazord of the series. You know, Sentai's done this on and off for years, usually a black gold or black silver type of repaint special edition. Not for every series, but for a lot of series, it's kind of a fun collector's beat. And sometimes they make their way into the show, and this is one of those cases, is this not only functions as a cool repaint of the Megazord, but also actually makes its way into the show. Uh, Don Murasame uses it in the series, I believe both in like the standard mode, as well as a mode which he uses these face plates to make it unique, which we'll take a look at, so it has some unique pieces and weapons that set it apart. Let's go ahead and dive in. For the review, I'm going to just take a look at everything as is, you know, take a look at them individually, combine them together, give my thoughts, and then I will show at the end of the review before the final verdict a montage comparing all of the individual versions, as well as showing this combining with the other mecha in the series, because it is mostly compatible. But now let's go ahead and take a look at them individually. I almost forgot that this also includes a gear with it. I thought about it the last minute. Overall, you know, par for your course gear. If you like the gears, you'll like it. It's a pretty neat looking gear. You know, that's all I really have to say about it aesthetically. Uh, nothing really too special in the sound department, but we'll go ahead and show it anyway. Alright, we'll start with the Black Ranger Zord here. As you can see, it's just kind of your classic black gold repaint, and I think that this color scheme works really well. I mean, just in general, it's one of my favorite color schemes, which is why I'm kind of a sucker for the Black Edition Megazords. I think that they come off looking really cool, but I think for this design, it just looks really awesome, uh, especially kind of like with the angular design of sort of like the almost Ninja Star-esque bit. Um, it just, it works really well, and I really dig the way it looks, and I think it also stands out with the red visor there. It almost gives me like an Aubrey Killer vibe just with the red visor contrasting off of this, even though Aubrey Killer is white and black. But you know what I mean. Overall, uh, very good looking. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. I talked about how you can obviously use these to combine with the other mecha, like the Phoenix, as well as Dondra Goku's. There are some, like, little bits that are weird, like right here on the main version, there's two- Right here, this is weird. Look at his ass! What I'm talking about is, like, there's these little ports on the back- Oh god, this is getting dirty. There's these little clips on the back so that you can put part of the Phoenix there uh, to store it when you're transforming, and that doesn't exist here for some reason. So there are some little odds and ends, but if you have everything else, you can sort of finagle it still. Um, and he does have some, like, like bits of articulation that are part of it being, you know, a a small part of the whole. Like, like, you can move his waist here, you can move the arms a little bit here as well. You can't move him 360 or anything like that, but you can move him back and be like, oh my god, what happened to his arm? But you can bend his arms a little bit and stuff like that, and you can also move the head, which is nice and gives it some personality. Let's move on to the next one. All right, now we have the Black Rangers here. This one actually looks pretty cool. It looks like an almost ghostly totem here, uh, the way it's got this look with the arms and, like, this, like, symbol in the middle. Like, I don't know, it almost looks... I don't know, his head keeps slipping. It's really annoying. There we go. Um, but it's kind of got this, like, guardian of a ghost realm totem look to it for this one. But again, other than the repaint, it's basically the same exact figure as you come to expect. You don't really have articulation other than his head not wanting to click in place, there we go. But you can move its head like that, and then you can move the arms in and out a little bit just because of the nature of them pressing in, but other than that, you can't do anything, like obviously this is still one piece. Alright, now again we have the Black Ranger Zord here. Honestly, this one is probably the least exciting, like, none of them are always... Not all of them are like super winners in terms of the individual modes, but this one just seems like the most basic because you kind of have to look underneath to see the cool parts. Like, I mean, it is pretty cool. He has golden abs, but when he's just kind of sitting there, it looks like the most basic compared to the others. I think like his and then the actual Black Rangers are kind of the most boring in terms of the way they look. Obviously with this guy, you get a little bit more articulation because this actually does house. I mean, you can be like, hey, look, you can move his arms out this way, but then his head's dead. So I don't know, it's kind of a morbid figure when you try to articulate it, it just starts ripping off limbs. No, but you do have some more articulation here in the arms because this houses the primary articulation for the arms and you can move the feet as well here a little bit for like some dynamic like wee posing so that was that was pretty exciting
Now again, speaking of the Black Rangers here, I mean, the black gold color scheme does look really cool, but it doesn't differentiate itself as much uh, just because, you know, the other Zord actually is a Black Ranger Zord, just with some very slightly different colors. I do prefer the black gold color scheme, but this one in general was kind of the more understated ones, the more boring looking ones, so it doesn't pop out as much. Uh, probably a little bit more than Blue Rangers slash Black Rangers, because, you know, you don't have to, like, look under and be like, look, he's got a golden tummy and stuff like that. Um, yeah, obviously not really a lot of articulation going on here. I mean, you can move his legs a little bit there, but it's not really going to create a lot of dynamics other than he can't really stand that well now. And then he stands perfectly. All right, and lastly, we have the Black Ranger Zord here. This is probably one of my favorite ones. I think red and pinks are my favorite just because red stands out the most, you know, having the giant chest piece in the middle, you know how it is. Uh, but this one in particular, it looks like this sleek, awesome golden bird. Uh, you know, you have the translucent plastic, which just comes off cool, and it's just really neat. And I also really like the unique design there for the tail fin. Uh, yeah, it, just, it stands out the most. Those are two of my favorites individually. But now we are going to go ahead and prep all these and combine. And there you have him. And honestly, he looks pretty badass, especially when you get his grill arm on right. There we go. I just, I do love the look of these mecha in general. Again, I'm kind of a sucker for this color scheme. And this is one of my favorite designs in recent years. So being able to have this in this awesome black and gold color scheme is just really cool. I mean, not just because I like the design of the mecha in general, but because we do have this new form of mecha where it's this larger scale mecha compared to previous Sentai, more accurate to the way it looks in the show, looks closer to the suit, more articulated. To be able to have this one is just really, really awesome. Like in general, I just like Don Oni Taijin as the step forward for Sentai mecha, but then to be able to get one of my favorite things for my Sentai collection, which is a cool black gold color scheme, is awesome. And I think it looks really, really great. And kind of all my points about Don Oni Taijin's stand, you know, in general, the plastic does feel a slightly less quality compared to previous years, but overall still feels solid. It's really great to be able to have articulation and stuff like the legs, you know, the feet here, you can get more dynamic posing, and if you separate the legs out, you know, you can move the feet so it can be stable. Obviously, you've been able to see that the chest here can move, and you can move the arms as well as the head, so it's really cool to be able to have it in dynamic poses like that. So kind of just my general opinion about Don Oni Taijin stands, except in this even cooler color scheme. Now, as I mentioned, you do get pieces so that you can switch it into effectively Don Murasame mode. So basically, just you have this little headpiece here, and you just snap it on like this, and then just replace the chest piece with Don Marsame's chest piece. But wait, there's more! He also comes with his two own unique badass like saw blade looking weapons that you can put in his hands, and they have these little grooves in there so it'll slide right into the, uh, the little grooves in his hands. And with that, there you have this mode, which looks really awesome too. Honestly, I think I prefer the other one, even though it's just a basic repaint, it doesn't have anything new or exciting about it. I just kind of prefer the overall sort of black gold color scheme. But this is really cool too. I like the way it's integrated into the show as sort of, I guess, Don Murasame's mech, and it does have a cool look to it that stands out. And there's something to be said for the interesting contrast of the purple and the black gold. The weapons are neat, they do look a little cheap. I kind of wish that there was maybe like some sort of, I don't know, like black paint pattern here or something. It just, they kind of, I don't know, blend weird compared to the rest of it, but it's still overall a pretty cool design. And now before we get to the final verdict, I'm going to do a quick montage just taking a look at the comparisons of the individual ones to the main version, as well as showing this combining with Don Goku's mech as well as the Phoenix.
All right, so now we head into the final verdict, but before the final verdict, again, but wait, there's more. I kept forgetting to mention that this also includes two alternate sort of posed hands that you can switch out, which is really cool and just adds another level of dynamics to it that make it feel like a combination of both a mecha and kind of a giant figure. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with this thing. You know, Don Oni Taijin wasn't perfect, but I liked it a lot. I loved the design. I loved the larger scale. I loved the articulation. And this brings all that, plus my favorite color scheme and favorite edition mecha. Not to mention it's cool that it's in the show, and you also get these extra Don Murasame bits. It's overall just a really neat release. It's also cool that you can combine it with the others and have kind of alternate color combinations. As you can see, I actually think because of the black gold color scheme, this one kind of fits in better with especially the Phoenix formations. It just looks really cool with all the extra black gold and stuff like that. So it's neat to be able to do that. And if you have all of them, you can also mix and match and do a bunch of other little combos if you want. And it is weird that there is some slight incompatibility, so you have to kind of, you know, make up for some stuff. But other than that, it's neat to have if you have all of them. As for a recommendation, obviously, you know, it's a little bit more expensive. Don Oni Taijin is an expensive mecha in general, but it's a little bit more expensive because it's an exclusive. So it makes it harder to recommend outright. But I would say that if, if you're like me and you like what you see, you love this in the show, you like the design, I don't think you'll be disappointed, you know? If this was solely, you know, just a black gold repaint that wasn't in the show, it would be the situation where I'd be like, well, that's only if you like the collector's black gold editions, but you can probably save your money. But then, this, again, is in the show, so it might be something that might push that completionist button for you. I'll just say that, for recommendation, again, final verdict, if you're like me and you like stuff like this and you like Stanoni Taijin, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I'm really happy it exists. Now they just need to get on releasing uh, Stacy's mecha from Zenkaiger. Like, seriously, where are they? Anyways, guys, that's about it for this one. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get notifications for my videos. Dawson Rider, signing out.